Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today we are looking at Earthwide Rise Wave 3 Deluxe Class characters. Uh, Smokescreen. We also have the Quintesson Alicon. And look at that symbol. Cool. And last but not least, the Autobot uh, Accra uh, RC. And I almost called her a Cree or Acri because when I was a kid, that's how I thought you pronounced her name. <laughs> So, yeah, some habits are hard to break. Like I say, Ryu instead of Ryu, 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 or you, Ryu. I think is how you're supposed to say it, and Sagat instead of Sagat. So I've got a lot of bad habits. But anyway, we're talking about Transformers here. So I picked up two of these at Walmart: um, Smoke Screen here and the Alicon. And I had ordered this off a of Big Bad Toy Store, the RC. Uh, then I saw her today at Walmart, but I had already had her. Um, and I'm going to say the first, you know, thing that comes to mind right off the bat. The RC definitely feels like she's cheap plastic. Like thin, cheap plastic. Um, this, is a, this is a shame. This is a shame. This is my first and only RC. But we'll talk about her a little bit. She's a little bit of a letdown. Um, so these are the figures. Um, we've got several modes similar to, well, this is the first new mode of this. I have the Prowl figure. Um, I'm not going to transform and share the, well, maybe I will for our transition. I sure have Prowl looks compared to this guy and his car mode, but, uh, smoke screen looks good here. I do like this as an earth figure. Um, it's not as tight as I'd like it to be. Um, unfortunately, and I don't know why, but... Very similar transformation as the Siege uh, cars, like the Prowl and the um, Barricade. And there's one other card that's like this, too. I just can't think of the name. But, yeah, very similar. So, it's it's okay. I like it. I like it. Um, then we've got the Alicon. And he's really cool. He's a very simple transformation. I like the articulation on the jaws. Uh, the transformation takes, like, two seconds. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, he also has an added weapon here. You can take his tail out and put that in his hand as well. So he can have like two weapons, but I'd rather put that on the human side just because if he's supposed to be an alligator. I don't think he'd take his tail off just for kicks and giggles, you know, in this alicon mode. Uh, my son, who's four, asked why does he not have a gun? I was like, well, he's primitive. Technology. <laughs> just, just make stuff up as a dad. Just make stuff up. He's primitive technology. Um, I do like the spear. Because we don't get enough handheld weapons in Transformers. So I do like that. Um, and last but not least, RC, which I've already talked about. Um, she's a bit of a letdown. Um, it's just a shell former. But that's not what's so bad about it. It's just the plastic. The plastic is what really lets me down. Uh, it feels fickle. And just as a comparison, here's a Cybertronian vehicle, her buddy Blur, next to her. So, you can see that Titans Return had much bigger vehicles. She did have a, a vehicle like this in Titans Return, the same mode, but I, I never bought that. It was like some weird exclusive. So, let, let me take a look, bring out one of these other car characters out real quick. All right, I transformed Barricade and brought him in just because I figured, felt like it'd be a, a pretty good comparison. Um, I never got the smoke screen for the um, Siege, only because I got burnt out this mode. I like the mode on Prowl, and it looks amazing on Barricade, but I did not want to get any more figures with this mode. I just did not really care for it. I like the vehicle mode. I do not like the robot mode. Um, say it again, the, the alt modes for these, the, the Siege, the Prowl, the Smokescreen, the Blue Streak. I mean, there are so many guys that had this mode, um, but I love the vehicle, just not the, the robot mode. I, I feel like the robot mode was very shaky and not that great. And here, these have both that are really are pretty good, although that although this one stays intact much easier 
than this side does. This this car mode here for small screen does not stay on as well as uh, I would like it to be. It just can't part just there. It rolls fine, but I mean, again, there's some different engineering here going on, um, as you can see at the bottom, but it's still relatively the same um, figure. Well, it's different molding, but relatively the same engineering, just some changes here and there. Um, and I think it's good. I think maybe one or two of these figures I'll, I'll probably get. Maybe the uh, Blue Streak, just because I never got the Siege variant of it. But other than that, I'll probably pass. Um, so let's get these suckers transformed and talk about that. Da -da 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 -da. All right. And forgive me for all of my uh, bad spotty camera work. But uh, here they are transformed. Um, they all look so freaking short, but it's also because I have Marvel Legends on the same stand right now. Um, and I've been messing with a lot more larger uh, Voyager classes lately. But um, yeah, let's start with Alicon. Again, his transformation is really freaking simple. Um, but I do like this. Um, he looks good. Pretty simple. Um, the transformation is like you literally just bring this part up. Flip it, slam that joker down there, and then you just peg these arms in, and then his feet go more like that. I mean, it's really simple. So, I mean, it's probably the easiest transformation I've seen in a long time. If I catch another one of these, I'll probably get one for my son, because I think he'd love fooling with a guy like this. Um, so, yeah, that's the Alicon. Um, soft good. Nope, that's not soft good. That's hard. It's shocking. Um, but it's a good-looking figure. I like the paint they used there. You know, they, they didn't mess around. Well, some paint. Most of this is molded plastic, actually. I like some of the paint, but um, he's a he's a fun figure. You know, you don't need to have every dang transformer that's like 15 billion steps and takes a half an hour to transform. Um, let's look at uh, Mr. You know, Smokescreen here. Um, so, again... These two modes are very much the same. I know people kept praising this guy for being so much different and so much better than this figure. Um, the feet are better. I don't like these feet, um, but the feet are better here. But I still don't really like this mode. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm just not a fan of the mode in general. It's a fine figure. It's better than this one, but not by much. Um, there's some stability here where the top of the hood pegs in here that they did not do here, which I like, but it still feels really sketchy on the arms, um, which I don't like. The legs feel much dirtier this time around, so I do like that, um, but he's a very good looking figure too. He's a very good looking figure, and actually mine's mistransformed. I just realized that because I think I got some great parts that come down to to there we go fill in some gaps but he's still very gappy you know but you can get him some nice poses because of uh his leg articulation that's not a good pose but you know what i mean so um yeah i like that um i'm tired of talking about uh smoke screen so we'll stop i probably will not be getting the barricade version of that now because i just don't care for the mode anymore um rc her robot mode is much better um, she comes with a gun. Um, I do like it. I wish it was not transparent, lightish blue or whatever that color is. Um, I wish she had pink on her face to dip, to break that up a bit. Um, but her body is, is dope. I mean, you can get her some nice poses because she's got, cause she's a shell former. That's why. Um, you can also, if you don't like all this junk in the trunk, well, it's not even junk on the trunk, it's junk on the back. You don't need all that back stuff there. You can use this as like a hoverboard. I'm not going to do that, but I'm definitely going to unpeg this and hit this little button right here that releases it because I think it's just too much on the back. There we go. You see, it just has a release button. You push the release, it comes down. And then she has a much more manageable backpack and she looks much better. And then if you really wanted to, you could form this into like the little the little shell thing that they had online and 
think it looked like something like this. It looks like it sounds like it's breaking. Um, you can do something like that, and she can surf on it. That's what her pegs are for, anyway. If I can get mine in. Yeah, something like that. But that's kind of stupid. Um, the way they did it with um, Shockwave was awesome. This way is just kind of stupid. Okay, so there's that. If I had to rate these figures out of 10, um, this is by far the most disappointing Transformer Wave I've, I've gotten this year, um, by far. Um, but, you know, it's still a good figure. It's just they could have, I feel like they're, they've hit their limit with Siege Arthrise. At least right now. Um, I think my favorite out of these right now is probably Alicon, just because he's got the most unique uh, newer stuff. Um, then, even though, as much as I griped about her, probably RC because her robot mode is just that dope. And then Smoke Screens, because Smoke Screen, as cool as he is, I'm really tired of that mode. And I'm just tired of it. So, yeah, there's that. Is there anything else I was going to talk about? Oh, yeah. Um, the other thing, let's get her in with some of her her mates. Not mates like that. Sickos. So, we got Springer here. I like this size difference. We've got... Uh, oh, whoa, look at that guy. And we've got uh, Ultra Magnus. And I would have transformed Blur, but we'll do that later. Sorry, Blur. So, yeah, it feels good to have all these. I got I got my hot rod somewhere around here, but we'll deal with that guy later on. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace and all about grease.